If by chance their cheeks should meet while dancing, proving that the best things happen while you dance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most underrated dance scenes in classic musicals. For this list, we'll be looking at often overlooked dance scenes from classic Hollywood musical films. Since this is a list of classics, we won't be including any films post-1980 like Hairspray. What's your favorite dance scene? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Shall we dance? The King and I. We've just been introduced. I do not know you well. But when the music started, something drew me to your side. Though the most known song from this classic is most likely Getting to Know You, there are some other gems to be enjoyed in the 1956 film. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. The story covers many Western and Eastern culture clash moments, as well as some romantic liaisons. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? The king is, of course, reluctant to accept any form of change, and makes this clear throughout, only to finally understand in the end. In the memorable number, Shall We Dance?, Anna explains to the king how Western women are courted, and the two express their inner emotions through the secretive, yet much telling, medium of dance. We'll do it again. Number 9. Cool. West Side Story. I want to get even. Get cool. I want to bust. Bust cool. I wanna go! Go cool! Boy, boy, crazy boy. Get cool, boy. This modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet gives us many songs for fond memories, yet some really great sequences fly slightly under the radar. Towards the end of the film, the Jets and the Sharks are headed to the ultimate confrontation, as the two gangs wish to take each other down once and for all. The Jets are shown getting aggressively riled up until one of their members talks everyone down to keeping their cool and not charging in like bulls. What follows is a rapid dance number in which the Jets redirect their anger into their moves. And it's really, well, cool. Number 8, Kansas City, Oklahoma. I got to Kansas City on a Friday. By Saturday, I learned a thing or two. Cause up to then, I didn't have an idea of what the modern world was coming to. Oklahoma depicts an old fashioned Midwestern town, complete with cowboys, ranch hands, bells, and their mamas and papas. The townspeople don't often find themselves traveling elsewhere. And when cowboy Will Parker returns from the bustling metropolis of Kansas City, the townsfolk gather to hear his tales. What you doing now, Will? Well, this is called ragtime. I see a couple of actors doing it. Will's big city tales lead into a demonstration of the latest big city dance moves, including the two-step and ragtime, as he tries to convince his audience of the appeal of these new dances. The scene is high energy as well as comical and endlessly entertaining. The box social scene, including the farmer and cowman barn dance, comes in a close second. Number 7. The Rich Man's Frug, Sweet Charity. Down 
on her luck dancer for hire, Charity Hope Valentine, what a cool name, right? Dreams of the big time and getting out of her current predicament. As she moves from her current lower class workplace venue, widely known for the Hey Big Spender number, to attending a high class nightclub, she witnesses the differences in culture. This is well introduced by The Rich Man's Frug, in which the nightclub guests dance with elegance and a touch of hedonism, all while maintaining that special brand of 1960s hip. With the legendary Bob Fosse at the helm, the choreography cannot go wrong. Number 6. Jump and Jive, Stormy Weather. In 1943, 20th Century Fox released one of the two musicals featuring African-American casts that year, Stormy Weather. The film features a variety of numbers, as it depicts the protagonist's hope to become a professional dancer. Such big names as Lena Horne, Fat Waller, and this entry's composer, Cab Calloway, appear in the film. Now I've told you about the jump in time. In the Jump and Jive number, Calloway and his orchestra provide the music for the astonishing Nicholas Brothers, as the duo tap up a storm all over the place. The number is impressive, energetic, passionate, and amazingly was purportedly achieved in a single take. And we didn't even mention that splits down the stairs sequence towards the end. Number 5. Who's Got the Pain? Damn Yankees. <laughs> Americans love their baseball, and 1958's Damn Yankees represents this pretty well. It tells the story of an ordinary man who makes a deal with the devil to lead his favorite baseball team, the perpetually losing Washington Senators, to victory. The most recognized scene is, of course, whatever Lola wants. I always get what I aim for. Another impressive, yet often overlooked number is Who's Got the Pain, in which fans of the Senators celebrate their impromptu road to victory. Who's got the pain when they do the mumbo? Who's got the pain when they go, ah! Who's got the pain when they do the mumbo? I don't know who, do you? Bob Fosse and Gwen Verdon take the stage to perform a dance number reminiscent of vaudeville. It's energetic, humorous, and lots of fun. Good luck getting that tune out of your head. Number 4. Born to Hand Jive, Greece. Almost every song from Greece is easily recognizable to anyone who's ever been to any sort of karaoke night. I met a girl that's you, crazy for me. However, there are still a few underrated numbers. The hand jive performed during the televised school dance is catchy as well as entertaining. There's a lot going on in the scene amidst the overzealous competition. Every main character gets their moment of dance, some followed by moments of drama. However, the dancing is contagious, and much like the in-film audience, it's tempting to join in in any way possible. John Travolta's dance with Olivia Newton-John is reminiscent of the disco days, and the exhausting energy doesn't stop throughout the entire scene. Number 3. The Best Things Happen While You're Dancing – White Christmas The best thing happen while you're dancing Things that you would not do at home come naturally on the floor. There's just something about Christmas-themed musicals. 
in White Christmas, we see the film's two protagonists, played by Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye, struggle to launch their production company following World War II. Their journey, of course, includes romantic interests. Though the film does contain some timeless gems such as choreography and Mandy, sometimes the more gentle, understated numbers are best. Danny Kaye and Vera Ellen perform the best things happen while you're dancing with such elegance and grace. The song speaks of expression through dance, and how it's much stronger than regular communication for relaying emotions, which is a constant theme in classic musicals in general. Number 2. Barn Dance – Seven Brides for Seven Brothers Yeah, we're definitely not recommending this one for its absurdly awful depiction of gender roles and behavior. After all, the titular brides are kidnapped by the brothers and held in a cabin over the winter. In typical old-fashioned style, however, they all fall in love and get married in a mock shotgun wedding. We're focusing on the absolutely incredible dance numbers, though. When the brothers venture into town for a barn dance, they encounter the aforementioned brides-to-be and fall in love. However, the ladies are spoken for, and a brawl ensues between the menfolk. The fight begins through dance, as the stiffy-suited townsmen stiffly dance, only to have their ladies taken by the rough woodsman brothers who dance more freely and wildly. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Doll on a Music Box, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. A wind-up doll brought to life. How can you tell I'm under a spell? I'm waiting for love's first kiss. Alley Dance, My Sister Eileen. Bob Fosse and Tommy Rawls show off their skills. Take Off With Us, All That Jazz, a depiction of the grueling audition process. Be a Clown, The Pirate, Gene Kelly joins the Nicholas Brothers. Ballet sequence, The Red Shoes, a beautiful, emotional balletic interlude. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Moses Supposes, Singing in the Rain Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. For Moses, he knows his, his toes aren't roses, as Moses supposes his toes to be. This classic musical is filled with iconic song and dance numbers. Alongside the grandiose nature of some of these scenes are many underrated gems. 
There were quite a few choices for this one, such as Make Em Laugh and Beautiful Girl. There may be blondes and brunettes that are hard to resist. You surpass them like a queen. However, we went with the hilarious and tongue-twisting Moses Supposes. The film depicts the transition between silent films and talkies, and this scene has the lead actor, Gene Kelly, learning eloquent speech from a stuffy professor. Kelly and his musical buddy and partner, Donald O'Connor, make a farce of the lessons and begin to dance and sing around the shocked professor. It's an amazing two-man dance sequence we'll never forget. Hey! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.